I guess I'll go back to my channel. I woke up at least uh, 40 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, today's video is me reading two books. Most boring video ever, but I was bored as I don't know what, so today you have to. Uh, I just want to sleep more, but I can't because I'm doing a video. Could have not, I could have stopped the video, but I don't want to. <sighs> so, I didn't do my hair at all. That's how tired I am. And boy. So, first we're going to read Big Chickens Fly the Coop. What? That, that, that doesn't really make sense. Alrighty. Well, let's begin. Big chicken sat on four. Oh, four big chickens sat on their nest inside. It's nice and safe at, at home in the coop, said one chicken. Yes, said the others. We should always stay home. We could always stay home. We could always stay home. Except we. We always wanted to see the farmhouse. That's true, said the chickens, and they climbed out of their nest and headed out of the coop. <sighs> How do chickens wear clothes? Honestly, how do chickens wear clothes? Because what I'm seeing right now in this book is that the chickens are wearing clothes. Here, let me show you real quick. Clothes, 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 clothes. Confusing. Uh, partway across the farmyard, the chickens stop. Is that the farmhouse? Asked the one chicken. It has a roof. They tiptoed closer. It had a door. They stuck their necks out and it was a tail. Of course it was. It's just a barn. That wasn't a house. It's a doghouse. The chickens lounged, trounced, and body bounced. The dogs pounced, drooling muzzles, dripping, dripping. Dribble, 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 uh, dribbled right in yard. Birds quib. Quibbled, sharp teeth, crash point, to be smash. Snout snap, snapped, wings flapped, until four slobbery, slobbery chickens ran all the way back to the coop. We should have stayed home. We could could have stayed home. We would have stayed home except we want to taste the bugs at the farmhouse. That's true, said the chickens, and they 
headed out of the coop. Partway across from the far, across the farm yard, the chicken stopped. Is that the farmhouse? Asked one chicken. It had, it has a chimney. They tiptoed closer. It had a seat. They stuck their necks out, and it has four tires. That's a tractor. It's a tractor. Yeah. They, the chicken scritted, scrit, turned, hitched, and flip switched. The tractor twitched into life. The lusty engine roared, startled, roared, startled, heartbeat soared, black smoke spewed full fuel, moods brewed eyes, burned guts turned until... Four sooty chickens ran all the way back to the coop. We should have stayed home. We could have stayed home. We would have stayed home except... Oh, they... These chickens are going to be big, bad shape. That's this story. Uh. It's a barn. All the chickens stopped, clumped, and clumped, and clumped. The horses chumped at the bit. Skitterish ponies blotted, ball, bolted, frazzled feathers, bolted, hard shoes kicked, wing tips flickered, flicked, manes whipped, tails flipped until chickens weak can be loud. Chickens can be loud. Chickens can be dirty. Chickens can be wild. That's true, said the chickens. Said the ch- yeah, said the chickens. And we really want to see the farmhouse. Four big chickens climbed out of their nest and headed out of the coop. Let's finish this crazy little story. Hey, when the dogs barked, the chickens fluttered over the fence and landed on the tractor. And when the tractor smoked, the chickens flopped off and landed on the horse's back. When the horses barked, the chickens flipped off and landed. And where are they house? Is that the farmhouse? Asked the one chicken. It has a roof. It has a door. It has a chimney. It has a seat and the and see it has a window. It has a gate. It must be the farmhouse. The chickens bugs. Slug, sluggled, slugged, and bear hugged. They reviewed, shooed, and woo-hooed. They stayed, played, and egg laid all day long. The chickens glanced, pranced, and tap danced. 
How did chicken tap dance? And two, it must be true, said the chickens. And now we can go to the farmhouse anytime we want. Four slobbery sooty sladdle, saddle sore chickens strutted all the way home. Then that's the end of the story. Well, I'm surprised they're not that bad of a shape, but <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm still tired. I'll be right back after this two really second break. I probably like one minute break. All right, the last story is called Moose Toe. Oh God, this looks like it's gonna be a crazy story. Twas the season and Moose was merry. What he joyfully he tickled the varies with a ton tuneful of tidings and a flurry of fa la 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 He was so full of ho ho hos even his mustache had the holiday spirit but Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos, but with orderly organization and a bit of lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know how getting ready for the big day should have been simple easy yes it, it yes in a probably problem just perfectly perfect i know what it says but i i don't know how to say it correctly when I say it, um, like for the problem, blah, 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 blah. that. <sighs> Wait a second. Oh, that's a lot to do this. He wanted no, not one merry minute. 
he wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He stopped till the drop, till he dropped. Check. Oh, the check. As in, he's checking it off of the list. Oh, he hauled home boxes and bags and pres- presents for Galon. Moose had gifts for Eve. Everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Check, 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 check. Then he wrapped yo 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 and he ribboned ho ho ho. And on each and every package he tied a big beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, some. So simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Uh, I don't think this is going to be forever, but I also think it's going to be forever. Please don't. Uh, uh, I'm down here, people. Right here. Duh. And I'm not moving anymore. Ugh. Don't die. I got a question. How does a moose tie a bow? Does it only have a... I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, this is why this is a fiction book instead of a non-fiction book. Fiction is you don't know that fiction is not real or non-fiction is real. It's really the opposite, which I was surprised on when I learned it in like kindergarten or first grade. So yeah. Uh, This time I wake up. Uh, and I didn't set no alarm, but my brother had to call me. We gotta finish this book. Alright, decorations were up. Next on his list of things to do and get done. The moose decked the hall, then spread up the walls. He Beaded, bowed, and boost muscle turf, M- muscle turf. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, boost the dog. He gathered garlands, roped webs. And holly jingled bells. Sang Noel the good dolly. This moose was jolly. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Uh. Check. Everything's a little bit rough. Check. And another little bit rough. Check. A little, 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 a
You know what I mean? Yeah. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one with special care. And just in time to soon see who would be there. Just in time to see who Santa soon Santa will be there. Back and final check. Yes, three. Getting ready for Christmas was an absolute nap, nap, and so simple. So easy, and if he did say to him, so himself, do die totally, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. Uh, on that night before Christmas, Mother and Little Sissy Bucky and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bound, bound, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed Miss the Mrs. and Mrs. and and the five stars starred at one and two corners. Oh my, oh me, oh gee. Pop. What happened, cried Junior. You forgot the tree. Oops, where would they hang? The tinsel string, the popcorn, light the lights, the lights, light the lights. Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kid? Kids Eve on Christmas Eve night. So Moose pulled on his go go galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere by somehow, and that's all there was to that. So out with the moose, braving, blustering, blowing wind, and, and the cold, and, and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courages, courages, and bold. Uh, uh. He's just not gonna be able to be Santa, and that's all he wants to do. Nope. Not, not a nothing. Not a tr 
not a tree to be found. Oh god. I think Santa ain't gonna have presents. No tree side. Side a sad little sad tree. Hey, home empty handed that snowy The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so to meet a tree. But Moose could plainly, could plainly see they were sore on his glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner, he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children, and he winked at his bright bride. His he declared, Fetch your for forgetful papa. Some of that try of that tried and true fit family glove. So back came one the kids carrying a big pot of glue and without a word to one other they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold when they carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped and flopped, they pasted and they pressed. They curled and twirled, and every which way would they fall. Let's turn back from a little moose's magnificent mustache was indeed an even more and deep even more a marvel to see. Just a few needles, just shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung moose with life from his head to his toes and dropped him with pencil, being right with his nose. Candy canes, berries, and plums, he sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his top. Ooh, ah! Yes, this truly was what an incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing. And boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. When the junior placed the star on top of Moose's head, he gave him a kiss and pat a pat. And they all headed off to bed, except Moose, of course. He stayed up in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple, and it wasn't so easy, and okay, okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? It was pretty close. Oh, oh, oh. So he did do what he wanted.
that is true. True, true. Hot. Well, that was not the funnest video ever. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys. Hope you like this video. <laughs> Subscribe.